What's up, VFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video. And today, I wanted to go over how you can actually be a lot more effective as an entrepreneur. Now, before I actually get right into it, I wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for showing me tons of love and support throughout all the videos and content I've been putting out. The VFAM has officially crossed 5,000 subscribers. That's obviously a huge accomplishment, and our next goal is to get to 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys stick with me along the journey. I had a couple things I wanted to go over. Uh, I have some notes here written out with some things that I kind of wanted to make sure I mentioned in this video. So if you see me looking away, don't worry. I'm not like texting or doing something else. I'm looking at the notes that I had. I have here put together for you guys. I wanted to start this video by sharing one of the biggest takeaways I've gotten from a book that I was reading just a couple days ago. And I shared this takeaway on Instagram and Snapchat and everybody on there got tons of value from it. So I figured why not share it with you guys on here as well. The book was actually uh, Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins. Obviously I'm a huge Tony Robbins fan. And what he was actually going over is that us as humans, we tend to associate pain and reward towards the wrong things, right? And, and an example that I kind of had written down in place is not an example, but something I wanted to kind of go over is we tend to associate pain to usually doing the things that we have to do and associate reward with procrastinating and putting things off. Quick example, whenever we do like a to-do list and we write it out loud and we know we have things to do, we tend to procrastinate and the reason why we procrastinate is because we're associating pain with actually doing those things. We're thinking about how much work is going to take to do those things, which is the wrong mindset to have, right? We should be associating reward to thinking about what's going to be the outcome of doing all those things, how, how ahead it's going to get you if you get those things done. And the mistake comes into play when we associate reward with not doing those things at the moment, putting those things off, right? We can think about, you know, what else can we do besides doing the things that we have on our to-do list, right? And a lot of us tend to do that. Even myself, whenever I have things to do, I tend to put them off. And the reason why we're putting them off, it isn't like you're intentionally doing it. It's just because you associate reward with doing something else that may seem a lot easier at the time, right? That's a huge mistake because what we should be doing is associating pain with not doing those things, right? Thinking about, for example, if you don't work out, what's gonna happen if you don't work out? Well, you know you're not gonna be in shape and you know you're probably not gonna feel good because when you're out of shape, you usually don't feel good, right? And that was a quick example I use on social media as well, uh, but it was a great example, right? Because usually what people associate pain with is the process of actually working out, of actually going to the gym. And that's a huge mistake. We should be associating reward with going to the gym and working out because usually when you go to the gym, you know that if you keep working out, you're gonna look good, of course. And usually after you work out, you feel incredible, incredible. Um, for a lot of you guys that are watching this video, you guys can probably relate. You know how you, that feeling after a workout is like no other. It's like the best feeling. But obviously a lot of us, what we tend to do is like, we delay the process of even going to the gym because we know it's a lot of work and it just takes us some time to get to the gym and all that stuff. So that was just a quick example of, you know, what they were going over in this book on a more of a practical perspective, right? So what we should do is if we shift our focus from associating pain to actually doing the things we have to do and associating reward to actually doing those things and the reward we're gonna get doing those things, it's gonna be an absolute game changer because now you're gonna find yourself doing pretty much everything that you actually have to do. And this can actually be applied almost anywhere in your life with anything you have to do. So I honestly thought this was a huge takeaway. So I figured why not share with you guys if you guys picked up or thing or two from this little shift or mindset shift, make sure you drop a like on this video. And if you guys can think back to when you associated pain and reward to the wrong thing and you maybe procrastinated on doing it, knowing that there was huge reward at the end of you actually doing it, drop it in the comments below. Let me know what it was exactly that you guys um, procrastinated on and you know you didn't end up doing it because you knew there was a lot of work associated with it or pain associated with it. I'm always interested to see like what kind of things other people uh, you know tend to associate pain and reward with, right? Because I know for a fact, me, myself, I find myself associated pain and reward with the wrong things at times. So I'm curious to see what you guys have done before. Now, I also wanted to share with you guys my daily 
routine kind of structure. I had a lot of people reaching out asking about, you know, running an e-commerce business or being in the internet marketing world, running an online business. What does your day to day look like? And what are the things that you focus on doing? And when it comes down to it, I've actually started to structure my days around this idea that we were just talking about what we associate pain and reward with, right? So I know for a fact that every single day that there's things I have to do no matter what, there's just work I have to do and there's no way around it. So what I do is I associate reward with the things that I have to do. And the way that I do that is I set up my day so that my first half of the day is focused on the things that I have to do. Like for example, if I know that I have to, you know, do some personal development, learn a new skill, I'll do that. If I know I have to check in with the team for our e-commerce business, if I know I have to record a YouTube video, I'll, if I know I have to provide value in our Facebook group that we have for our P2P students, then I, you know, obviously I'll take care of that. What I do is I think about the things that I have to do. And usually I do this in the first half of my day. And what I do is I automatically have massive reward planned for right after I do those things, right? So I know for a fact that for my second half of the day, what I like to do is everything that involves fun, right? So I think about, I get to work out. For me, working out is like fun because I know it makes me feel good and I get to look good. So for me, working out is fun. I think about how many rounds of Fortnite I can play. Some of you guys may play Fortnite as well. I've been on it. I've been on my Fortnite grind. And another thing that I know is fun is like going out with the boys, right? So I know for a fact that if I, know, if I get all the work done that I have to get done for the day, I'm automatically gonna get to do any of the things that I like to do, right? So that's, again, either Fortnite, going out, or working out. And that's been working really well for me because now I'm motivated to do all the things that I know I have to do, right? I'm not seeing it as pain. I know that for a fact, if I get this done, I get to get my rounds in in Fortnite with no problem, no guilt. Because before what I would do is I would find myself not doing the things that I know I have to do. I'd put them off. And I'd end up just going to do the things that I look forward to do, like again, playing Fortnite or working out or going out. And I would end up doing those things, but I would feel guilty while I was doing those things because I knew that the things that I had to do during that day, I didn't do. So now I kind of split up my day where it's like first half and second half of the day. And it's a simple structure, right? So I don't break down my days like by time. Like I know that I have to do this at 10, 15 and 12, I do this, things like that. It's a simple structure that I have. I know first half of the day, I have to get work done, do the things that I have to do no matter what. And I know of course that doing those things is a massive reward, right? I know for a fact that if I check in with my team and I make sure that my e-commerce business is running, I know for a fact that's gonna lead to more growth, more revenue and a whole lot more. So obviously I associate reward with that as well. And I know for a fact that if I don't do those things, well, there's gonna be pain behind that, right? Gonna be pain because obviously my business isn't gonna grow, sales are probably gonna go down. And then later on, if I try to do the things that I enjoy doing, I'm not gonna feel good doing it because I know I didn't do the things that I had to do. That's pretty much the structure that I have within my days. That helps me be effective as an entrepreneur. Now, obviously some of you guys, you may be just getting started or you may be already running your business in a way that works for you, right? So maybe for you, you might have a different structure that ends up working. That's pretty much it. I didn't mean to kind of complicate this video or kind of get all over the place. I wanted to keep it somewhat structured, uh, but kind of give you guys value as to what you can do to kind of start getting a lot more things done and being a lot more effective and productive. If you guys picked up a thing or two from this video, make sure you drop a like. And of course, if you guys have ever procrastinated or associated pain or reward with the wrong things, drop it in the comments below. I'm super curious to see what you guys have associated pain and reward with. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.